Alright, so for our upgrades we have external M.2 holder, the holder itself, obviously the box, 16 gig of RAM in one stick, HyperX, and we have two um, SSDs here, so one is an, a 960 EVO, one terabyte, and this one is a 500 gig. You may ask yourself, why have I got two? Well, my aim was to get a 500 gig. Um, I bought this 960 as a 500 gig, and because it was off eBay, and the person sent me a terabyte, full genuine terabyte as well. Uh, I'm not going to say no to it, but I'm going to keep it for when I redo my PC. So I put this one to one side because we're not using that. We're going to be using this one today, which is a 970. Evo Plus, but 500 gig. So um, I had the one terabyte out anyway because I was formatting it and just seeing if it actually worked and all the rest of it. And I then came across this Samsung data migration does not work from caddies, not with the M.2s. It works from caddies from conventional hard drives with their SSDs, but not an M.2. So what I'm going to have to do. I need to open this first, put this 500 gig in the laptop and put the one in the laptop in here and boot from the USB. Sounds like a lot of work, but it will work. And when it does work, I should be able to claim to the Samsung drive and just restart. We'll give it a go. First thing to do is to shut this down. Pop this out. So this cavity, there's not much to these things. You slide it back, opens up, and voila, there's our one terabyte M.2 drive. So this thing's first. This needs to come out. Unscrew. together because they're all probably going to be different sizes got a magnetic tray here so it shouldn't lose or mix up any screws Yeah, it's one of the ones with a 
crepes. One way to be creative. Alright, it's the back off. There is definitely not a lot to this laptop. So, we have our main board, which is yay big, not very big. Um, we have a memory slot here and no memory stick in it, which suggests to me that the memory on this laptop is soldered onto the board. Uh, M.2, we have a slot here for a SATA drive, so if I wanted to I could put a 2.5 uh, inch drive in here, but don't need it. The aim of a laptop is to save power, not use it, so I'm not going to put one in. But yeah, there's not much to it at all, that's our battery here. So, let's get this M.2 out. Should really disconnect the battery, but I've got us to the end. So if we get the back, I'm not going to screw anything back in for now because actually, wait, hang on, got one more bit to do. stick that's built into this is a 2133 megahertz stick in memory it's soldered to the board so this one's a 2400 I think DDR4 so in actual fact it's going to run under speed This probably won't work, but we need to try it. Can't not try this. This to USB. Here. We've got 
go. <laughs> Any gig around. That's insane. Let's move my desktop. See who changes and exit. See what happens. So this enclosure I don't think supports satellite, I think it's only just NVMEs. Yeah, NVME M.2. Let's have a book, let's have a look at the book. So this is day number two. Uh, not long ago, it's dark now, but not long ago received this from the Amazon guy. He delivered it on a Sunday, which is nice but So the next objective is to take this apart. Let's get that out and try it again. So I guess I'm going to do the NVMe, which is what we want. So we have our USB cable, little bits and pieces, another screwdriver to add to the list of M.2 screwdrivers. And straight away with the fingerprints. Oh. Okay. Oh, wow. Crazy design. some luck. So, we're now back on here. So I'm going to data migration. Before we do anything like that, let's check my hard drive. Yeah. Ah, it wouldn't show up because it's not been formatted yet. It's cool. Probably can't really see it too tough because it's, the screen is stupidly bright. Okay. As you can see, it's 20 gig RAM, not 20 gig. Say no amount. We should have our M.2. And, yep. Thank God. So it has worked. So we'll just cancel that. 
start our migration. Sweet. Go for it. So just to be clear, so if you're going to migrate uh, an M.2, so, so let's just say you got a brand new Samsung SSD like I have, and you want to migrate from some garbage Intel SSD, which is just a SATA one to an NVMe, this is exactly what you're going to have to do. So what you want to do is get yourself, I'll just show you the box, it'll be a lot easier. So basically what you want to do, if you're going from SATA to NVMe, you need one of these. And if you're going from NVMe to SATA for whatever silly reason, you need one of these. But both these products are available on Amazon. So where I got them from. So this one is for your conventional SATA drives on M.2, and this one is for NVMe. So this one's more good for if you've got an NVMe uh, SSD lying around. Do you want that as an external? You will need this. But uh, if you actually want to do a conversion from the normal SATA to NVMe, this. Which is exactly what I'm using right now. Um, as I said, I'm not expecting anything amazing from the transfer rate because it's running over USB 3. Which, don't get me wrong, it's quick, but it's limited. It averaged towards the end, probably about 114, roughly. Which is still crazy, 114 megabytes a second. It's no slouch. All done. So now, time to close this. Get the system shut down. Unplug our USB and start back up. Moment of truth. Sweet. That's our 970 SSD NVMe in and sorted. quick so um, I don't know if you can see that basically the score's got up by an extra 400 points by me changing the SSD and giving it more RAM so essentials on here 7600 productivity 6000 digital content 2500 so that hasn't changed I don't think yeah it's still the same but productivity and essentials has gone up. So, so um, I'll definitely notice a difference on day to day use. Uh, to be fair, when I was playing about a bit earlier, I didn't want to see this thing even come up with a load at all from the hard drive. Everything's just instant. And I know people say SSDs are instant, they, they are, but you see some signs of loading. Not with this, there was no signs of any loading whatsoever. So if you got the chance to go MV NVMe, I would, personally. But yeah, that, that's it. Hope you've enjoyed. If you decide you want to do some uh, upgrades yourself, then by all means, go, go for it.